screenings. Two thousand eleven is the one hundred and fiftieth anniversary of the American Civil War, one of the greatest conflicts that this nation has ever undergone. It's only fitting that we should pay attention to some of the lessons that have been learned. There were more Americans killed during the Civil War than in all the of America's wars up into and including Vietnam. So it's a very, very uh, deadly conflict. For this is due to the fact of weapons like this because the tactics stayed the same as in prior wars but the weaponology it has a greater range and accuracy than the smooth bores that were used up until that time because of that the massed tactics used in the beginning stages of the civil war caused immense casualties to both sides cannons in addition uh, increased in their deadliness and their range uh, and it led to wholesale slaughter of regiments in the early part of the war. Allegheny County uh, contributed significant numbers of troops to the American Civil War. Uh, the company that you see designated on my cap, Company K, of the 136th U.S. Uh, Infantry, New York Infantry, uh, was raised uh, partially here in Allegheny County uh, and served in many of the conflicts that we all uh, know the names of uh, Chancellorsville, Gettysburg, uh, served with Sherman in the march to Atlanta and to Savannah and the sea, and uh, the march across Georgia up into the Carolinas. In 2011, Angelica will be hosting a will be our annual reenactment, which takes place in the village, uh, and will bring both armies uh, to invade the, the village of Angelica for the weekend. Again, in 2011, it's the last weekend in September. Nice to see everybody today. It's finally stopped raining. Certainly a pleasure to see such a, a much larger group than the last time. They've asked me to tell you a little bit about my service in the Great Rebellion. <clears throat> it's been a while since I spoke about this. I'll try to remember. Oh yes, I served four years, one month, and ten days. Can't forget that. And I survived. Actually, I enlisted at Alfred, New York as a private to serve three years. I was 21 years old. My three brothers were also in the Army. I was in Company D of the 86th Infantry. The 86th saw many terrible battles, but after a couple of years, I re-enlisted in the field and was promoted to Corporal in December of 62, after having been wounded twice at Bull Run. Then I was promoted to Sergeant in December of 63 after Gettysburg, when I re-enlisted as a veteran of May of 64 and saw great devastation at the Battle of Pole River. The men of the 86 were counted before the battle by order of the brigade commander. And one half hour after that battle, only 106 men of the 1,000 remained. The remainder of the men having been killed or wounded or honorably discharged. Not one was taken prisoner. I had a bayonet thrust into my haversack that day. I was also wounded at Spotsylvania, Virginia in May of 1864, and that wound to my hand caused me to be laid up for five months until I got strength back in my hand so that I could return to battle. The 86th Regiment was mustered out in June of 1865, and I had transferred to the Veteran Reserve Corps in April of that year, and I was assigned to duty in New York City, and I was discharged in November of that same year. My brothers, let me see, William fought in the 104th New York and died of his injuries received in the war, but much later, after following railroading as a conductor. John was horribly wounded at Chancellorville in 1863. He was an orderly sergeant in Company D and his right ankle was shattered. He fell in my arms and I carried him two miles to a temporary hospital at Rappahannock and stood by him as the surgeons cut off his foot. As a side note, <clears throat> surgeons were usually outnumbered one to a thousand men, and it meant amputating a limb to save that person so that you could get on to all the other hundreds of wounded soldiers. If they had done the surgeries that was required to save that limb, hundreds of others would have died. 
John later became doorkeeper of the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C. My third brother, Ira Travis, was a sergeant in the 1st New York Dragoons. He became a commercial agent for the Chicago Firearms Company. We all survived that bloody war. After all the battles and wounds, I returned to Allegheny County and Angelica and became a farmer. That was until 1877 when I accepted a position as keeper in the state prison at Auburn. I stayed in that position for 11 years, finally returning to Angelica, my farming, and enjoying my family life. Oh yes, and I did serve as Angelica's constable from 1898 to 1911. Well, it's really been fine visiting with all you folks, and I hope you hear some good stories from the rest of the fellows and enjoy your tour. Thank you. Thank you.